Hi, I'm Sir Oliver, your online math tutor. Hello mga mathmates! Hashtag Team Math Talino. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, huwag mo kalimutan mag-subscribe at ihit mo na yung post notification bell para updated ka every time nag-post ako ng bagong video. Panibagong video, panibagong topic na naman ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon. Ito ang continuation ng equation of a line. Ngayon ay i-discuss natin ang slope and one point. Find the equation of a line given the point and the slope. So we have formula to be used. That is the point slope formula given by y minus y sub 1 equals to m times the quantity x minus x sub 1. Again, the point slope formula is y minus y sub 1 equals to m times the quantity x minus x sub 1. We're in x sub 1 and y sub 1 is the given point or the given coordinates. We just substitute m, which stands for slope, and x sub 1, y sub 1 into the formula. Okay, so let's have example 1. So write the equation of the line with slope negative 2 and passing through the point 3, negative 5. By the way, all our answers are expressed in standard form. Again, standard form po yung format ng ating equation. So, we're going to use the formula y minus y sub 1 equals to m times the quantity x minus x sub 1. So, we just substitute all the given. So, y minus negative 5, that is y sub 1, equals your m is negative 2 times the quantity of x minus your x sub 1 is positive 3. Again, we just substitute all the given. Yung x and y po ay kokopihin lang and then you just substitute all the given. Again, y minus your y sub 1 is negative 5 equals your m is negative 2 times the quantity x minus your x sub 1 is 3. Okay? Na-substitute na natin lahat ng given. Then after that, we're going to distribute by multiplying. Therefore, our answer is y plus 5. Dun muna tayo una. Negative times negative is positive. So, that's why it will become y plus 5 equals negative 2 times x. is negative 2x. Then, negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. Again, we just distribute. Yung nasa parenthesis. So, negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. And then, you just get the additive inverse of negative 2x and 5. Since ang ating answer should be in standard form, kailangan daw yung x at y ay magkasama. So, therefore, yung term nila, we just transpose negative 2x, pero the right term is, the right term is neg uh, getting the additive inverse. Ililipat natin si negative 2x doon sa unahan, kasama ni y, it will become positive 2x plus y equals to 6. Yung 5 naman, isasama natin dun sa constant. So, it will become negative 5. So, therefore, our final answer is 2x plus y equals to 1. So, that's how we get the equation of the line given the point and the slope. So, let's have another example. So, write the equation of the line with slope 2 thirds and passing through the point 7, 3. Again, we're going to use the point slope formula y minus y sub 1 equals to m times the quantity x minus x sub 1. And then we just substitute all the given y minus your y sub 1 is 3 equals your m is 2 thirds times the quantity x minus your x sub 1 is 7. Again, you just substitute all the given in our point slope formula. 
Then, the next step would be distribute by multiplying. So, i-distribute natin yung 2 thirds sa x minus 7. So, that is 2 third times x is 2 third x. Then, 2 third times negative 7. So, when we multiply a fraction to a whole number, we just multiply it by the numerator. Because, understood na ang denominator ni 7 ay 1. So, 2 times 7 is 14. And then, we just copy 3 as our denominator. Again, 2 third times negative 7 is negative 14 thirds. So, how are we going to simplify kapag meron tayong fraction? So, we just multiply each term by the LCD. And by the way, what is our LCD? 3. And then, we just multiply yung ating expression by 3. Each term should be multiplied by 3. Okay, so let us continue in our next slide. So, we just multiply it. Therefore, our answer is 3y minus 9 equals 24 minus 14. Isa-isa natin. 3 times y is 3y. 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. Again, 3 times y is 3y. Then, 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. Equals, doon na tayo sa next term na 2 third x multiplied by 3. So, we can cancel 3. Therefore, our answer is 2x. Again, 3 times 2 third x, you just cancel 3. Then, natira ang 2x. Then, last term, we can also cancel 3. Then, matitira ang negative 14. Okay, na-simplify na natin. Next, get the additive inverse of negative 9 and 2x. Ililipat natin. Yung 2x kapag nalipat sa kabila, it will become negative 2x. Yung negative 9 kapag nilipat sa hulihan, it will become positive 9. Again, get the additive inverse of negative 9 and 2x. Pag nilipat si negative 9 sa huli, magiging positive 9. Yung 2x magiging negative 2x. Then, combine. Negative 14 plus 9 is negative 5. Again, negative 14 plus 9 is negative 5. Since may negative tayo sa unahan, change all the sign. Our answer is 2x minus 3y equals to 5. Remember this. Parallel line have the same slope. So, makaka-encounter tayo dito ng problems wherein kailangan yung kukuhanin nating equation ay parallel or perpendicular sa given equation. So, paano po yung gagawin natin? Remember that parallel lines have the same slope. Therefore, m equals to m. Kung ano yung slope ng given equation, yun din yung gagamitin nating slope. While, perpendicular lines have a slope which is a negative reciprocal of the other. M equals to negative 1 over M. Again, negative reciprocal of the other. So, yun po yung ating gagamitin na slope. Negative reciprocal. So, let's have example 3. Find the equation of a line passing through 4, 2, and parallel to y equals to 3x plus 7. So, kailangan daw yung ating equation na in standard form ay parallel sa given equation na y equals to 3x plus 7. So, therefore, ang gagamitin nating slope ay 3. So, ito yung katabi ni x. m equals to 3. And your coordinate is 4 and 3. 2, 4, 2. So, we're going to use the point slope formula. We just substitute all the given. So, it will become y minus 2 equals to 3 times the quantity x minus 4. Again, you just substitute all the given with our formula. And then, distribute by multiplying. So, it will become y minus 2 equals to 3 times x is 3x. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. Get the additive inverse of 3x and negative 2. Yung 3x, mapupunta sa unahan. Therefore, it will become negative 3x plus y equals to bring down negative 12. Yung negative 2, kapag nilipat sa hulihan, it will become positive 2. Okay? Then, negative 3x plus y, just uh, add negative 12 plus 2, is negative 10. So, kung mababansin, meron siyang negative sa unahan. So, last step would be change all the sign. So, 3x 
minus y equals to 10. So, that will be the equation of the line. And that equation of the line is parallel to y equals 3x plus 7 and passing through 4, 2. So, let's have our last example 4. So, how about if it is perpendicular with a given line? So, Find the equation of a line passing through 6, negative 3, and perpendicular to y equals to 3x plus 7. So, ang slope i3, since it is perpendicular, we need to get the negative reciprocal. And the negative reciprocal of 3 is negative 1 thirds. Ngayon, yung negative 1 thirds, ito yung gagamitin natin to find the equation of the line that passes through 6, negative 3. Okay? We, we are going to use the points to formula. And then, we just substitute all the values or all the given. So, it will become y minus negative 3 equals to negative 1 third times the quantity x minus 6. And then, we need to distribute and multiply. So, it will become y Negative times negative is positive 3. Again, y plus 3. It will become plus 3. Equals to negative 1 third times x is negative 1 third x. Then negative 1 third times negative 6 is positive 2. Bakit po naging positive 2? Because negative times negative is positive. We just multiply 1 by 6. It will become 6 divides 3 equals to 2. Kung mababansin nyo, meron tayo ditong fraction to simplify. We need, we need to multiply it by the LCD. And the LCD is 3. Okay, we need to multiply it by 3. Isa-isahin natin. 3 times y is 3y. Then 3 times 3 is 9. Again, 3 times y is 3y. 3 times 3 is 9 equals... We can cancel 3, matitry negative 1x or negative x. Then 3 times 2 is 6. Ulit, we need to multiply each term by the LCD. Then after that, we need to get the additive inverse of 9 and negative x. So, ililipat natin yung negative x sa unahan. Yung 9 naman sa may dulo katabi nung 6. And it will become positive x plus 3y equals to 6 positive 9, it will become negative 9. So, x plus 3y equals to 6 minus 9. Okay, last step would be subtract. x plus 3y equals to 6 minus 9. The answer is negative 3. So, therefore, our final answer is x plus 3y equals to negative 3. And, and the equation is perpendicular to y equals to 3x plus 7 and passes through 6, negative 3. So, that concludes our discussion. And for your activity, I want you to answer the following. So, the continuation would be on the next slide. So, pwede nyo muna kopyahin, then post the video, sagutan, and then later on, uh, i-reveal natin yung answer.
here are our answers. So kindly check your own work. So for number 1, you have 2x minus y equals 9. For number 2, you have 6x plus y equals to 8. For number 3, you have x minus 3y equals to 7. For number 4, you have 2x plus y equals to 17. And for the last item, you have x plus 6y equals to negative 14. So, thank you for watching. See, see you on my next video for the continuation of our lesson about equation of a line.